Going right into the next one. But it's ship shape cargo. We're gonna go look at the turf war and we're gonna take a walk around the map. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. To start off, we have an ink rail. Takes us this way. We're just gonna go from left. Start from left. First impressions, I think I dig the aesthetic of this map more. I love just the white on the red and blue. The colors look fantastic on this. It takes one of the most bland colors and makes it look good. Like, really, really good and somehow pretty vibrant. You got a lot of options, again, going off this way. But we'll start going from the left. There's a little jump down to go this way. And jump up here. I wonder what the point to this is. I'm, I wonder if it's jumping off of platform up there. So going off this way. It's a cut through middle. And you can swing around. A lot of graded areas. So here's the layout. Probably should look at that. There's the layout. You can see the hallway. But then they added more platforms. That one, this one's very interesting. So we go this way. You see another able to, a way to get around here. And we have, so for, on the right for us, that's pretty much how it is. Going from the left to jump down with a bunch of pretty much entirely inkable walls. Which is awesome. There's a sponge. So this part kind of makes sense. Being able to just kind of get in their spawn very easily, I think this is a great call from Nintendo. Because if you're able to go up that side so easily, spawn trapping would definitely be a major issue. So cutting that off, at least, is good. So, this side looks a different. Wait, why does this side look so different? Oh, no, it's the same. Okay. But you can, I mean, <laughs> let's be real now. Well, I guess it, it kind of, okay, now that I look at it again, it does kind of make sense that they don't let you come up this way, but they let you go through middle. That way, if you want to spawn trap so much, you got to go through the middle. You got to go up that way. But it seems like they actually have some player option here. So let's go ahead and look at this Dreadringer. So if you, if you shoot it once, it shoots two. And if you swing it, you get two different projectiles. It's, okay, that's gonna feel real weird, but that's gonna be cool. It having Reef Slider I'm not too stoked about, but I don't think it really has bothered anybody. I do like the, the jump across stuff going on here. This map feels great. Already. And this is just the turf war layout. We we'll sit here, pull through this way, and so if we super jump back, this map is actually really big too. So let's look at it going this way. We got a pretty dang big route that takes us this way, and you have you can go all the way out to these grates, and this is about player spawn. Like this is this other side of the map pretty much. So yeah, that's the turf war layout. It seems. Let's go ahead and just take a quick little look at this. You jump on this side and you can jump off. Oh my gosh, you probably need some like swim speed or something. That or they didn't really think about placing that platform. I wonder if that rewards people with swim speed. Because, oh my gosh, you can just barely make that. Not even, not even barely. But the fact that you're able to get up here is pretty nice. You, you might... If you have enough swim swim speed, you can probably get around that way. This kind of feels like a mix of Undertow and Hagglefish. Does that make any sense? I think it's really nice. Okay, so that's the turf war layout. Okay, so here we are on Splat Zones. It looks nearly exactly the same. So we can start this way, take the ink rail. Takes us to mid. It does seem like they flatten this out. Yeah, they definitely flatten this part out. For, I'm sure it's a good reason. This seems very jumpable. Probably already was. I also like the fact that it's purple now. Does it actually change color? Does it, wait, does it actually change color with that? That's really cool, if so. 
This this part has cover, which is interesting, and you can jump up. Oh wow, it's like a really good high ground to get the zone. Also, this zone. It's a lot like th this part right here looks like the reef. All of this looks like the reef from Splatoon 2, if anybody knows. This part in particular right here feels like the reef. And I'm kind of in for it. I, I really like that. So this is definitely... A, the layout looks about the same, but there's some geometry changes here that kind of deem a bit of noticing. And, you know, getting some inkable walls here to go up through mid. And you can there's even the high ground. So it's kind of like the undertow-ish, but... So it's like the reef, but taking the undertow route, and they just split down the middle. It's weird. But we also got this way, so you can actually get around and shoot pe shoot people from behind. What's this? So, the very... Oh, okay, so it takes you down this way. What does this do? Is this just there? This is just here to... Ooh, you could do, like, a jump across. And I do like that there's, like, a piece of cover right there, so that guy over there can't shoot you. I think that's actually pretty nice. Oh, yeah, this, this middle area has completely changed. Yeah, it feels incredibly different. And I think, I think that might be good. So far, they're about pretty much about the same, except this middle part is lowered. And it looks like there's a bit more room to maneuver, so. Alright, now we're checking out the tower control layout. Here's the layout for you. There's a lot of different here. We got a section bomb. This ramp up here goes up pretty high now. This is still flattened out. There's the ink rail that takes you that way. There's a route here. They actually connected the grate here. Which is probably a good thing. Yeah, so you can get to... Oh, wow. So you can get the tower pretty quickly. And so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the tower path. But you kind of get an idea. They didn't really... Oh, they even made a... Oh, my God. They put flank routes on this map. Wait. There's like a direct... Okay, hold on. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's, let's finish this route first. But if you guys see it over there... Oh my gosh, it's a flank route. Especially for left side, so not only can you flank right... What the heck? These maps... I think this is a good sign. I think we're in a very good... a very good sign. Wow, okay, and then there's a platform that you... It's probably going to be very easy to take over, but this is where the tower stops. And that is such a weird trail. Look at that. You can definitely tell that, that it was going to take... It was going to be way too easy just to go straight through, so they made it go... Wink, wink, wink. And I get it. I get it. If you got that space, hey man, there you go. Okay, so hold on. we got to take a look at this. This is actually mind-blowing. So not only can we go left, we have one, two, three four, five, six options from the start. So let's take the option on the left just for an example here. Okay, so now one, so now option one and two can kind of merge, but also still go the same way. And then now you're left with one, two, and three options now. This one, it's gonna be a little harder, but it kind of makes sense. It has to slow down the pace on this side because this is the easiest way for them to get this way too but now it's here and so you jump across and you can jump across this way there's even a way to go up this way so yeah and it, the, the same can be applied to the other side we go back we haven't really gone down middle too much so let's go ahead and take a route this way but that's inkable go this way and there you go you go up here and if you really didn't don't really want to do that you get plenty of cover right here and then you can get the, oh my god this feels so this is gonna be so good there's no way we think this map is bad i i if this map somehow becomes bad like and i play it myself and it's just not that good i'm gonna be very upset because this looks so good i love this i love this a lot okay so now we are on rainmaker all the same routes are pretty much here but this time there's actually the ramp goes this way instead of it being an inkable wall this route is exactly the same what the heck well will you look at that you go up this way you can go around already like so the flank routes are still there 
And those those ones make sense because it's a much shorter route. So making you walk that kind of makes sense. So here we go. Here's our. So we have checkpoint one, which is very easy looking. This looks incredibly easy. Look at this. Go this way. Rainmaker. I don't know. Rainmaker might not actually be good on this mode. I mean, well, to be honest, now that I think about it, you have literally two high advantage points that can easily just shoot down at you. This ramp is still here. These little, there's, they added little blocks to jump on. This block is not elevated as high. Going back this way. You can go up here. And then you can go this way. Like this. Can you jump up from this way? You cannot. Which makes sense. But I'm curious now. Oh my gosh, you can. Nice. Love to see that. But alright, man. This... I don't know how this is going to be. I think this left side is going to become very pointless, especially with the grates. But I think... I don't know. I think it might be a bit hectic, too, because there's a lot of high power positions this way. And there's even... These guys can even get up here. They can drop down, hang on the wall, while you and your team try to push through. But even then... If you have a fully coordinated team and you push right through, you could easily get a score booster. Especially like getting like right here. Yeah. Maybe high level play that'll work? I don't know. Like, maybe the high level play that would actually be a challenge. But I like this. This is so cool. And then this right here is great. So I'm a huge fan. So that's Rainmaker. Alright, last but not least, we have the Clam Blitz layout. This ramp is about the same. Let's look at the layout. It looks pretty much the exact same. Except for middle. Middle actually has a bit more elevation. It's about the same as Rainmaker, though. There's no side here. I always forget about this sponge, which is honestly good for your team. It's a good way for you to get back quickly. There's a nice little jump spot here. So there's three routes to, to the basket and then the ramp down here is all the same you can climb up this way you can still go mid here go down go back this way go up this is gonna be a very mince meaty kind of clams though but there's more options unlike mince meat so you can go this way you can take it out that way doesn't seem like we can get up from this side, which I, I think is kind of fair. I wonder if there's like, a, there's like a way to jump up. I wonder if Zipcaster is going to be able to benefit from that pretty greatly. I mean, to be fair, the game does pretty... It actually does give you access to this area. So you just kind of get got to get around it. You got to be in very heavy enemy territory to even get there. So I guess, like, if you're able to somehow time a jump that gets you up that way quickly. The layout's about the same. You still got this flank route right here that lets you get up on this wall. And then you, it lets you get to mid. And it seems like this time it's not really much of a flank route on this side, on these sides. It's a flank route for the people trying to get through this way. So I guess that's kind of it. It doesn't work both ways. It's more or less for the other team. But it still seems like there's a lot of player option here. And that the map is actually fairly big too, so I'm in. I don't know I don't know if this will be the best layout, to be honest. I think it'll probably be the weakest layout that we have out of all of them. But I do like this. The fact that you can go through and you can either go this way, or you can just go to the other side entirely. Alright, so that is ship shape cargo Pers aesthetic aesthetics wise this is my favorite i love this so much more than crab leg to be honest i love crab leg i do actually really like i do really like crab leg but i think this one might be better the scale of it the aesthetic i love the art behind it it's the fact that we're a ship or whatever this is like 
This can't be a ship. Not a... There's no way... Oh, it's... This is a weird ship. Anyways, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and call it there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the videos. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. And if you want to go check out the Crab Boy Capital walkthrough, that'll be linking, linked in the description below and on your screen now. Uh, but yeah, I love you guys. Have an, um, I love you guys. Have an absolutely fantastic day.